Through These Doors is presented by Gate City Bank. What can be done today to create a better way of life? We can end hunger, homelessness, and violence. Acts of kindness, compassion, and teamwork bring us together and keep our community safe. Every day at Gate City Bank, we're building a better tomorrow and a better way of life. Here's video, so Can't movement is encouraged. <laughs> Halfway done before we even start. That's not bad. Yeah, maybe it is. <laughs> Does this require smiling or is it straight face? It is whichever she says smiling. It's whatever you're comfortable doing. It is but, video though, so. Oh, it's a video. Yeah. So you. So you oh, I don't. Oh, all right. I'm pretty far deep in the I know, graphic. Yeah, I all right. Make sure I have to mark right. dry a little bit. <laughs> it's From the moment the team voted on captains during summer training, the group of five cherished the opportunity to don a letter. Uh, it, was, it was a pretty cool feeling. Uh, obviously, it's, it's a big responsibility, and um, so many good leaders um, came through here, got to wear that letter on their, on their jersey, and um, you know, it doesn't really change a whole lot for myself or for anyone else. I think we have everyone's a leader in that locker room, and um, I'm just... Uh, Really humbled to, to know that my teammates, um, you know, kind of think of me in that role. So, yeah, obviously a huge honor. I think uh, you know that could uh, the captains could have been a lot of guys. I think there's a lot of leaders on this team, and um, just an honor. I think following in, in the steps of guys like Colton Pullman, who I had as my captain for my freshman and sophomore year. It's uh, you know, he was just a great example for all of us. I think, and um, you know, we're just going to try to do our best job. For Jordan Kawaguchi. Maturation has been a gradual yet rewarding process. I think, you know, everyone starts out kind of quiet or timid their freshman year, and then, you know, as time goes on, they get more comfortable. And I think Jordan's done, you know, he was quiet freshman year, but now I think he's, you know, he's very vocal around the, the room and away from the rink. He's always talking up, and, you know, I think he sets a good example for uh, just the way he, he uh, puts himself forward as a a uh, hockey player and an athlete around UND. I think he's good with the community and at the rink here he's, you know, he knows when to say the right things and when to speak up. I think he's really good at that. I felt like I have matured uh, since I got here, just um, decisions I make, knowing what's, what I should do and what I shouldn't do. Um, and just knowing like my teammates know who I am and, and uh, just being comfortable with everyone. Um, definitely, especially with my class, just living with them. And, um, you know, anytime you know we talk or, or have a conversation, like it's always just we we understand who each other are, and um, you know I, we're gonna both, we're gonna process each other's you know, responses. So especially on the ice when we're we're talking about um, different plays and and uh, how they feel the, the game is going, I think um, I just feel comfortable talking with anyone now. Uh, just being able to give advice or, or take advice, I think it's just just part of hockey. And, the constant communication amongst one another sets a tone for the team to follow. Guys usually know when they make a mistake, uh, so kind of ragging on guys and um, you know putting them down isn't isn't the you know necessarily the best way. It's you know a lot of positive and 
Um, if you see, you know, freshmen kind of mess up a drill, there's a lot of information coming at them. Um, sometimes, you know, the older guys, sometimes they'll forget that. Um, where we're learning one new drill practice, you know, they'll be learning, you know, 10 to, 10 to 12 or even more than that. So just being vocal and communicating and um, just, you know, you make a mistake, that's not the end of the day. You know, that's how you learn and that's how you grow. Well, I guess that started in the summer with, uh, you know, not being able to have the coaches out on the ice. So we would kind of get together before quickly, the skates in the summer, and just kind of talk about what drills we wanted to do before we would do the scrimmage. And I think now we can, you know, on the ice now we see like maybe it's quiet out there and, you know, get together and say let's tell guys to talk and communicate better on the ice. So I think that's kind of, you know, what those, some of those conversations are on the ice. You just kind of, I guess, mature in that way where you maybe just kind of help the younger guys out, you know. It's going to be a tough, tough battle when you get into college games now and, Oh, just trying to keep it light on the younger guys too, make sure they're having fun every single day because that's most important and that'll bring the best out in every other player is, you know, when you're out there having fun, so. The innocent days of being a freshman have come and gone, but the guys find it fun to look back on how they've grown over their time at UND. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, looking back, it's, uh, it's pretty weird and, and like you said, that arcade, um, that arcade time was pretty fun and I think you just you look back and you realize how much you bonded with the guys and um, how tight knit you are as a group. And uh, you know I think those freshmen that come in are, are going to be the exact same thing. And um, you know most guys are super tight with their class because they're living with them every day and um, you know kind of going everywhere together. So it's uh, it's super cool and um, you know you develop lifelong friendships like that. Uh, well, hopefully, um, you know, moving forward, I can help offensively. Um, you know, defensively, I definitely can uh, work on that, and um, you know, hopefully, get better at that as as, uh, as years go on. But um, you know, offensively, I feel like that's uh, probably where I'm going to help out the most, and um, hopefully, be able to play all four years here and um, you know, contribute that way. Yeah.